Arthur Magella is a bona fide fashion legend and he's known for many things. He studied fashion design at the Royal Academy of Arts in Antwerp. Um, he has interned for Jean-Paul Gaultier. He's been the creative director for Women's Wear for Hermes and he has many other accolades and he's also known as the father of deconstruction. What Margiela is kind of known for doing in terms of fashion design aesthetic is he always looked to the past and he would take elements from the past and modernize them and add his own twist to them. And this was at a time when everyone was thinking about what's happening in the future. Everyone was trying to make their designs look futuristic. Margiela was looking to the past. Now for the sake of this video, it is good for me to provide context as to the type of person Margiela was. Now the name Margiela, um, it kind of ties in perfectly with the concept of anonymity. And this is due to the fact that Margiela, when he was making clothing, never wanted the focus to be on him and he wanted the focus to be on the clothing. Margiela has even been quoted saying, look at my clothes and only judge my clothes. So that means he didn't want people to think of him or who's making or whatever. He just wanted people to like the clothing and focus on the clothing. And this kind of mindset and concept of anonymity runs through the whole Margiela brand. And this comes from Margiela not doing interviews. He didn't like his photo being taken. He didn't come out and take a bow at the end of fashion shows. And the reason behind that is he thought that a whole team works on the collection so it doesn't make sense and it's not fair for him to kind of walk out and take a bow at the end of the show and take all the credit for work that took i don't know a whole team of people to make margella was so in tune with this concept of everyone being together and the whole maison margella being one that margella actually made all his staff wear white lab coats and the reason for this is that think of school uniform when you go to school and you have a uniform, there's no sort of hierarchy. There's no certain people thinking they're better than others because you're all wearing the same thing. But then in school, when you have a non-school uniform day, and now you've got some kids wearing really expensive stuff and then some kids who can't afford expensive stuff come in cheap clothing, and now there's a hierarchy and some people are seen as better than others because they have more expensive stuff. So Margiela is really against that concept and he made all his staff wear white lab coats so that there was no real hierarchy and everyone just kind of worked together as a group. No one thought they were better than anyone else. Now in past Margiela shows, models can actually be seen with their faces covered with kind of a fabric that was made into sort of a mask. Now there are many reasons why Margiela actually did this. The less obvious reason is the fact that Margiela couldn't afford to pay models at first when he first um, introduced this idea into his collection. So the whole point was at the time, um, big brands, you know, the Dior's of the world and brands like that were known for using the biggest models and all the big commercial brands at the time. Um, what was a big draw to their collections and to their runway was so-and-so models walking. Now those models come with a price and they're very expensive to book those kind of models, which Margiela couldn't afford at the time. So his idea was, I'll cover the models' faces and now people aren't focusing on who the model is and rather people just focusing on the clothing. So obviously the second reason that ties into it, I basically just said it is, Margiela wanted people to focus on the clothing and he didn't want people to focus on who who is wearing the clothing, who's walking in the clothing. He just wanted the focus on how good the clothing is, what techniques is used, the fabrics and so on. This is very significant because this also signifies the anti-establishment aura that was around Margiela and Margiela always went against the grain. When fashion was going left, Margiela was going right. Now, even though originally the main reason Margiela thought of this idea was the fact that he couldn't afford to pay really expensive models and A-list models. And obviously, if you use people's facial image, there's a cost with that. So apart from that fact, in future Margiela collections, models can be seen wearing masks or using different forms of things to cover their faces and to hide their identity in a way and this plays into the whole fact of the anonymity within the brand and the fact that once again, the focus should always be on the clothing and not on who's wearing it. Now, everyone who's a fan of Margiela always remembers the masks that Margiela used to conceal the faces of models, but there are many other ways that Margiela actually concealed the image of his models. And in many different collections, as we'll see, 
There are collections where he uses hair and wigs to conceal models' faces. He uses tape. He uses makeup. And then, of course, the famous masks. Now, one of the first Margiela shows that ever took place was the Spring Summer 1989 collection, where we saw this idea of masks first being introduced. We've also seen the masks in many other collections from the Fall Winter 1995 collection and this collection was very memorable because of the amount of colour that was in this collection, the pinks, the blues. The next collection we saw this in was the Spring Summer 1996 collection where the models were also seen wearing masks. In the Fall Winter 2000 collection, models had their hair styled with kind of a exaggerated low fringe that had the effect of covering their eyes. And in this regard, we could not see the faces of the models. In the Spring Summer 2008 collection, the eyes were covered with fabric strips. In the Spring Summer 2009 collection, this collection was important for many different reasons. First of all, it was the anniversary collection because um, Maison Martin Magella started in 1988 and this was their 20 year anniversary. So this collection literally had everything. It was just kind of like an accumulation of all the great Margiela collections and all the staples were all in this collection from masks to hair being used to cover the models faces you know and just many different variations that were used to conceal the images of the models Shortly after, unfortunately, Margiela did actually retire and he kind of just, in Margiela fashion, just left his house and didn't tell anyone and didn't announce it or anything and just disappeared and people kind of realised that he wasn't there anymore. However, he had, obviously, the team that had been under him forever since the start who continued working on the collections and then later on, John Galliano actually became the creative director of Margiela until this day, John Galliano is the creative director of Margiela. However, um, even though Margiela isn't still there, the brand still pays homage to a lot of Margiela staples. And this includes obviously concealing the images of models and use of masks. And this is why in a lot of Margiela Couture collections, we see masks in many different variations. From more grand variations, where we see models wearing kind of like these bejeweled masks to other masks that look more like the former Margiela masks that were kind of just pieces of fabric but 
since these are couture collections we kind of see some patterns on them and some designs and stuff like that ultimately a mask can be used to hide someone's image however it also draws attention to something so when you see someone wearing a mask you don't know what their face looks like however you're curious as to who is under the mask and why they're wearing a mask and it's kind of genius that Margiela had this idea to put in fashion and I feel like he's just a genius to be honest because he didn't want people to focus on the models he wanted people to focus on the clothing so he made the models wear masks but then when people are wearing masks that's kind of more of a draw to the collection like why are they wearing masks and that kind of adds to the aura so not only did it make people focus on the clothing because you can't really see who the models are um, there was also a focus on the mask and it kind of be became a big thing and a big talking point so Margiela kind of killed two birds in one stone which yeah Margiela is a genius so there's nothing else I can say so yeah like this video comment down below what your favorite Margiela collection is where models were seen concealing their faces subscribe to this channel follow me on Instagram at fashion roadman and something that's really interesting in terms of anonymity of Margiela is there's a documentary coming out soon that is called Margiela in his own words and this is insane because there's another Margiela um, you know documentary that has been out for a while called We Margiela but in that documentary it's more the team of Margiela talking about the career of Margiela not Margiela himself because we know Margiela anonymity you know need I say more however in this new documentary that's coming out, there's no confirmation date. Margiela is actually helping them himself and giving them archive pieces and giving them kind of memorabilia and telling them directly about his career, which is insane. This is something that we have never had. And a lot of Margiela information we have from like books I've read and stuff like that has been accounts of Margiela's staff. So, this is a really interesting documentary to watch and I do urge you guys to kind of make sure that you do watch this documentary when it comes out because there will definitely be stuff in this documentary that even though I've read so many books on Margiela I probably wouldn't have heard of because this is the first time Margiela is going to say himself oh I did this and I did that and I did not people giving accounts of his career so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to that documentary I hope you guys are too and yeah more videos on Margiela to come. There's so many things to talk about Margiela from, you know, techniques he used to how he came up, what he learned under um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, different elements that he took from the past, like how he adds volume to things, his references from the past, um, the Margiela number system, um, going deeper into why his staff wore white lab coats. There's so many things to talk about when it comes to Margiela and those are all going to be separate videos. So yeah, stay tuned for those and stay tuned for my new videos.